Hey there, guys. Um, my name is Kim, and I'm going to do your reading for the weekly in March. The first week in March, March 1st through the 7th. And then after that, of course, I will have updates for you throughout the month. As always, um, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate all comments. Um, if you want a private reading, check the description box below. Uh, let's see. So we're going to get started. Let's call in your angels and spirit guides, higher self, higher power, and get to this reading as you surround us with divine white light and surround our watchers with divine white light also so that we get the messages that are for the greater good only. Now let's get into this. Okay, Taurus. So we're going to start your reading off with the archetype deck and we're going to grab about three of these cards clarify um, the oracle cards at the ending with the tarot or we might do a small tarot spread I think I've been I've been liking using the urban tarot deck so we might do that um, let's see what does Taurus have in store for the week of March 1st through 7th I think that is good enough good enough Taurus 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 what you got going on The nectar, the nectar. A gay piece. All right. And the forest. Okay. It goes like this. This, this. I think it goes like that. Um, all right, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I did it with the last sign. So let's see if this helps with this one. Um, I do see a general meaning in here, but I'm gonna draw some energy cards to go one underneath each one, giving me a little bit more to work with with the message making it a little bit more precise <clears throat> let me just talk about them a little bit first the forest the main thing to remember about the forest card is we must be lost to be found quite simply the, the only way you can be found is if at first you are lost so we must get lost in the forest and the forest is like a big metaphor for life yes there's shadowy areas but there's still areas in the forest where the sun shines through and then maybe what we thought were shadows and bad things turn out to be fairies and good things it's all a mixture but usually we're more fearful than we are expecting good Agape is about undition, unconditional love and devotion. The nectar is what is created when the venom is present, which the venom is some darkness, dark times, suffering, and after suffering comes a self-awareness with the nectar card. It is turning something that's vile into something really wonderful and gorgeous and loving. So the Nectar card is a really good card to get as a result from what I think is like past, present, future. It's, it just seems like it is, or this is current, pres uh, future, future, you know. All right, so let's see. For the Nectar, let's get a card for Nectar. We have the community. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that makes it a little bit different. We have the Thinking Man for the Forest. And then, of course, the man holding the heart, the king of cups for a gapey. That makes sense. That truly does make sense. So, this is what we've got. We have the king of cups in the middle with a gapey. This is leading with unconditional um, love. This is leading with the man holding the heart is going to lead with his heart being very diplomatic um, sensitive, caring, has his emotions in balance, and can often offer advice about this. The thinking man tied to the forest would be your king of swords, but 
this thinking man to me in this deck represents having to come up with a strategy. Maybe you feel lost at the moment in something and don't really know what to do. And there is necessary, there is a necessary need for a strategy. He's looking at the crystal and he might see something that other people don't see. He's very um, introspective. He uses all of the knowledge and wisdom he's gained, plus researching to find out what the answer is of how to be found, how to navigate through the forest. So there's something that really is calling for a strategy for you. And a gapey would sense that the strategy needs to be based on some kind of unconditional love either unconditional love for yourself and then you're going to see that reflected in everybody else towards you and also to lead and guide with this heartfelt um, guidance so guidance from the heart the community with the nectar is it's kind of like saying you feel a part of a group and maybe being a part of this group and sharing what you've been through what what suffering did have to take place before the nectar came this is something that maybe has created a bond between these people and it's giving back it's service to others giving back and feeling like you really fit in with this um, community card we even have strategy on the bottom an angel of love something needs to be done out of love definitely a strategy that i'm just going to put that there because that's exactly what that is is a strategy needs to be made all right now like i said let's go on let's do Let's do the tarot for you, Taurus. We're gonna do the urban tarot, which is about, um, it's a combination of the Toth deck and the Rider Waite. So we're gonna have a lot of different meanings, different names. If something needs clarified by Rider Waite, we will. But for now, we're just gonna move on and see what this deck's trying to tell us, and we'll clarify some of the meanings as we go. All right, Taurus, week of March 1st through 7th. What do we have as the issue card? Okay, feeling overbearing, feeling, feeling like there's something that you're doing that's requiring a lot of your time, a lot of work, a lot of exhaustion. It says oppression on the card. May feel like somebody is trying to bring you down with that. This is a completion though, guys. So this is a 10 of completions. The issue is trying to um, put an ending to this oppression or burnout phase. What is the challenge to putting an ending to it? The Queen of Swords. The challenge is the Queen of Swords. You need to cut something out with the Queen of Swords. I'm getting the feeling of needing to cut out things that just don't serve you anymore, and then that setting you free to move forward. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, this could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, which that could be too. That could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We definitely have somebody who is, um, either you're stepping into this or the challenge is to be like this, which is eye on the target. Cutting out things that are not serving you that might be oppressing you pushing forward and always achieving your goal. I'm not even going to say cold or, um, you know, bitchiness. I'm not even going to say that because I don't think that applies to this situation. In the past, we have introspection. It reminds me of this card, the thinking man, because the hermit certainly is a thinking character. Going inside, getting knowledge from spirit and from yourself Having unconditional love uh, be shown to you as being a very positive moving force in your life, a strong force. It's a force to reckon with and it crushes oppression. This unconditional love feeling could be dealing with a Virgo. Now, in the, the near future, we have the Queen of Cups. Wow, we've got two power couples here. Might make up a group, maybe, because we have the Queen of Cups. So 
So we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, represented as both male and female. The Queen of Cups on this card is the near future, which is the therapist. The person that can listen to your concerns, help you get through a situation. Definitely the main deal about this card is providing a shoulder or an ear to listen for you to have um, a, an outlet to release your thoughts, feelings, emotions. And she could also help you with understanding those too. Perhaps not as good as the King of Cups, but she's a very good listener. So this is advice from Spirit. Taurus the star. <laughs> well, keep focusing on your dreams. Make sure you make a strategy up. Know that negative things always end up turning into nectar once they're transmuted and they're understood and the lessons are integrated. Either we talk about it or we vent and get it out some way or another. The star could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with. We do have that mentioned twice already, so it could be an Aquarius. I think this is about mainly your goals and your desires. And I think something's coming up because we got the chariot card. Something is going to be a real success for you. A real success for you. We have nine of wands. Keep persevering. We have the temperance card. Divine timing. Have patience. So willpower, patience, chariot, moon, changes in your life. Yeah, some good stuff coming in. Oh, wow, that's nice. We have the door to value and angel of strength, too, that just kind of popped out to me. They're sitting on my chair here, and they just flipped open like that in the deck. So that kind of says it's pointing to something really good. Let's get some tea leaves. Oh, okay, nice. So you've got the good tower, which not everybody gets these. So I really like it when I see this for you. The good tower is this tea leaf, the tower, solid foundation and success with effort. It's building something up. You may be helping build up other people while some people are helping build you up. We also have dragon. So beware of some self delusion and and maybe that is why this oppression is coming in most of the time we can get through situations that we feel like we're tied down feel like we can't change most of the time we can get through these things um there's just something that maybe is a negative energy something that's influencing us to believe in a different way not actually how it is but how you're wanting to see something you do have an angel protecting you. That's wonderful. Taurus, I've gotten this angel before with you. And she has the candle like she's lighting the way for you. So with spiritual guidance and protection from harm. Beautiful. That's really beautiful. And that's unconditional love. Broken ring. Parting of the ways. Either romance or business. Hmm. And it may be something that like that card oppression was saying something that was making you feel so tied down and overworked and overused this might have been an inevitable thing to happen february either last or this coming february which is about to be over so it might be the next two bowl plenty of material things yeah we definitely see that coming and ear good news taurus good news that's wonderful maybe you have to do with this with this queen of cups too so good news for you keep on trucking you'll be just fine you'll get through this week and it will be it looks like a really good week for you so thanks taurus sending love and light your way join me for the updates